All right. This is group five, the Flintstones group, and this is our midterm presentation, PowerPoint. We are Daniel, Jared, Jessica, David, Tanner, and Anna Marie. Let's begin. For this project, we have chosen to create a parody of the construction scenes of the animated series, Flintstones. As we found, these scenes do accurately portray how to run and manage a construction site while living in the Stone Age. The characters in the cartoon are cavemen that listen to records, live in split-level homes, and eat at local restaurants. Target management concepts. What are they? The main three are planning, controlling, and leading. Planning. Process of choosing organizational goals and courses of action to achieve set goals. Controlling. The process of establishing, measuring, and monitoring systems to evaluate how well the organization has achieved their desired goals. Leading. Motivate, coordinate, and energize individuals to achieve goals. Context. I'm sure everyone has seen at least one episode of Flintstones in their life, but still. In our television show, dinosaurs coexist with cavemen, saber-toothed cats, and the occasional woolly mammoths. The technology used in the Flintstones is made from pre-industrial materials and is powered through the use of animals. For instance, the cars in the show are handcrafted from stone and are powered by the feet of the passengers. Let's meet the cast. The first cast member is Frederick Joseph, a.k.a. Fred Flintstone. Fred is 31 years old. His occupation is he's a Bronto crane operator for Slate Rock and Gravel Company. He possesses, possesses a participative style of management and feels that everyone within a company deserves to have input when it comes to decision making. He gets doped into getting a promotion which he should never receive. Mid-level manager once promoted, working hand in hand with non-managerial, has conceptual, political, technical, and interpersonal skills as a manager, and he is very short-tempered. Yabba dabba do. Let's meet the second member of the cast. This is Wilma Flintstone. She's 30 years old. Her occupation is she's a homemaker. She is also wife of Fred Flintstone. She tends to come up with compromises whenever there is a dispute creating harmony among other car uh, among her characters. She's always concerned with keeping everyone else calm and happy. Okay, third member of the cast, meet Barnabas, aka Barney Rubble. He's thirty two years old. He's the neighbor and best friend of Fred, uh, Fred Flintstone. He works for Slate Rock and Wheel Company as well. He constantly has suits with Fred, though the two always work it out in the end. His character will portray, portray the non-managerial employee for Slate Rock and Rail Company, given the role of the whistleblower in Episode 3. This is Betty Rubble. She's 38 years old. Her occupation is not available. She's the wife of Barney Rubble, neighbor and best friend of Wilma Flintstone. She represents the pace-setting type of management style. She also prefers to do everything on her own as opposed to asking for any help. The fifth member of our cast is Mr. Slate. His age is not available because he looks very old. His occupation is he's the manager of the Slate Rock and Gravel Company where everyone in the series works in. He possesses an authoritative management style. He's a upper management. He's upper management. He uses mid-level management, Fred, to execute ideas, planning, and oversee the company. Is Fred, but in all fair, at least until the mishap with Fred's promotion. He's an uncle of Barney Rubble in season three, episode two, and his quote is, "Do as I say." Okay, this is episode one. 
In this episode, Fred and Barney have just got home after an excruciating day at work, and them along with their wives cannot agree to where they should have dinner. In this episode, Wilma Thunstone serves as the personification of an affiliative management style because of the fact that she comes up with a compromise and suggests a restaurant in which everyone can get what they want to eat. Wilma shows conceptual and interpersonal skills in this episode. The episode involved the decision-making process. The problem was identified, figured out alternatives, remember past solutions, select alternative, follow through with the, des the decision, and finally evaluate the results. These are all the steps she took to make everyone happy. Okay, I hope you liked episode one, and this is episode two. This episode takes place at the Stone Age Quarry construction site and focuses on how Fred is the only employee with the knowledge successfully operating browser cream, the browser cream. As Barney tends to drop rocks on nearby workers, and that's not really good. Fred confronts Mr. Slate on the fact that he's the only one that can successfully operate the crane and needs Mr. Slate to either train the current workers or hire new ones who can operate the crane. Fred excels in showing all four skills that make a good manager. Conceptual, political, interpersonal, as well as technical skills. These, these skills motivate Mr. Slate to promote Fred as the mid-level manager with increase in pay. Okay, we really hope you liked episode 1 and 2. This is episode 3. In this episode, Fred and Barney are taking a placement exam. That exam is the one which will determine their level of authority within the Slate Rock and Gravel Company company where they all work and where Mr. Slate is the manager. Barney switches their exams, thus giving Fred the promotion. However, Barney will later discover that Mr. Slate is just manipulating Fred, thus presenting Barney with a dilemma of whether he should whistleblow and embarrass Fred or if Fred should take the heat. Will Barney have enough sympathy and empathy for Fred? That is the question. Thank you.